For this next half of the program, Evolution, Kirna Vali composed four pieces for the extended vocal instrumental ensemble along with the collaboration of Mirdangam player Vinod Sita Raman, who arranged the percussion for the compositions. Kirna Vali has incorporated the special features of both vocal and instrumental music and has given each artist opportunities to project their instrument, individuality, and creativity. This piece entitled Jagan Mogini, the Enchantress, is set to a bright ragam to open the second half. Kirnavali gradually introduces all the members of the ensemble, including some new additions. Ah. Changes in the normal gate of four notes per beat to three and five. This gate change is a basic concept commonly seen in Carnatic music.
we see in the second piece, Hughes and Hindolam, the capabilities to create aural illusions through a concept called Shruti Bedam. Note shifts are used on the pentatonic ragam to bring out the four other ragas possible in the cycle. After the individual artists showcase the lovely raga shifts, they come back together in an exciting climatic finish, which features a quick and colorful burst of the original raga Hindolam, along with the four other ragas of the pentatonic cycle. This next piece, Samsara in Saaveri, takes us through a metaphorical journey of life through music. The Chitravina was used as a metaphor for one's life. The other instruments are the additions along one's journey. Unlike in most classical music ensembles today, the main piece here is in a purely classical raga like Saaveri. The Saaveri piece perfectly balances out composition and creativity, making sure each artist gets an opportunity for improvisation, even in their multiple roles. They join in and exit one by one. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
We hear the melodies and involvement getting more and more complex through the form of kalpanaswarams. Percussionists engage in exchanges with each other and merge in unison at times. Here you see the novel use of sangatis or musical buildup in reverse order, representing how we wind down in life. The initial melody is cleverly brought back to tie the piece together.
The concluding piece, By the Brook in Behag, is composed in a ragam that Carnatic music has taken from its northern counterpart, Hindustani music, and readapted with folk touches, the latter of which Carnavali has incorporated in this piece to stay true to Carnatic style. So it's the brilliance of the composer and the artists that give compositions to a very good identity. These are the things that have constantly fascinated me over time and I'm happy that this project gave me a chance to bring all these thoughts into one performance. Mm -hmm. 